Walang middle. <laughs> Working. <laughs> Would be an option, but at the same time, you know, um, my method. <laughs> Sorry, can we take? Can we take again? Please. For me, high paying also, so that they can pay for my sorrows. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Chloe, and today we're gonna be going out. We're gonna be asking people, random people, this question. Would you rather be in a toxic work environment but with high pay, or in a healthy work environment but with low pay? Tara, tarong tayo. As uh, someone who's starting out, I would rather have a solid, non-toxic work environment Regardless of the pain. Walang middle. <laughs> Let's meet in the middle sana para compensated. Wow! I feel like work and work culture and work environment is very important. But I'd rather go for a high paying because I can also like use like my high salary to take care of myself. To not, you know, let the toxic environment like get to me. Case to case basis then talaga. Cause it depends on the risk that you can take. Given that we are in different stages of our career. Mm -hmm. Like as for me, I am still fresh in the industry. I mean, starting. So given that, I think I'll go for something that the risks are higher and which it can be a good training ground for me if you'll be presented to this toxicity so that you'll be prepared when you're old already, right? Toxic but high pay. Because the toxicity, naman, it will only get to you if you'll allow them to. So let's go for high pay. Yeah, I would prefer the low paying um, career, but with a healthy environment. A healthy workplace with high pay. I prefer to work in a company that doesn't really, even if it doesn't pay well, as long as it has a very relaxing, healthy environment. Doon na lang ako sa toxic pero may pera. Basta may pera, basta may pera actually. Doon na lang ako, practical na ako ngayon. Totoo ba yan? If the toxicity equates the revenue that you'll get, parang it's okay eh. Kasi you get what you deserve and you tolerate what you can. Slay! Yung healthy workplace, healthy pero low pay. Yeah. A low and healthy environment. I will sacrifice all the... Depends on the convenience for me or the convenience on my career path. I can say na kaya ko naman itake yung toxic to earn a higher salary. Kahit konti lang yung sweldo, basta nag-i-enjoy. Makapag-enjoy ka ba kung konti lang yung sweldo mo? <laughs> Since I'm starting out, I just really want a better salary so I can deal with a high-paying company with a toxic environment as long as I don't become toxic. Kaya lang nasa Pilipinas nga pala tayo. <laughs> but uh, still and all, seriously, mas pipiliin ko yung healthy workplace with low pay. Kaya ko naman itake yung toxic to earn a higher salary. It's just a matter on how to handle uh, any situation. Yeah, I'll just shut them off. Uh -huh. In short, mukhang pera kami parehas. Yes, alipin, ang <laughs> alipin kami ng salapi. It's very important, especially nowadays, to take care of your overall well-being and your mental health should always be should always take priority. We can choose the low income but stress-free environment given that you're looking for an experience with the chosen field. But if you're strong enough na to face the reality of the corporate world, you can go to the toxic but higher pay because if you think that the higher pay compensates the toxicity of the company, we can go for there. So you're kasi I don't think I can handle the mental stress even if it pays me well. It's really hard to work pag ano toxic yung lugar. So, buti na yung masaya ka sa trabaho mo. Uh -huh. Kahit sakto lang yung kita, basta masaya ka. Kasi susunod naman yung blessing. Pag sa toxic ka, kahit gaano ka laki, aalis ka rin dyan. Magkakasakit ka. Magkakasakit. Di ka magtatagal. For me, high paying also so that they can pay for my sorrows. <laughs> Depends on your priority eh. Kung nag struggle ka financially, uh, why not mag ka sa toxic muna? And you also gain experience din eh. And then kapag talagang hustler ka na, magaling ka na sa work mo, you can settle down on a more, uh, mas less toxic environment. Tapos konti na lang yung kailangan mong kahit konting income na lang. Nananasan ko na po yun eh. Yung okay. toxic. Yeah, yung toxic. Tapos so, mataas ang sweldo mo. Yeah. And is that healthy for me? Parang magkakasakit ka na lang. We cannot put a price on our mental health. Okay. And? And? <laughs> Let's thank them. <laughs> thank you. Pag toxic kasi, minsan yun yung reason bakit ka umaalis sa isang company. For daily life, it's much more better to have a higher pay considering the expenses that we have right now. Uh, are you still working? Are you no, I'm retired. Oh, you're retired? Yeah. You're enjoying your retirement? Yeah, we're on vacation. Okay, so based on your experience, healthy workplace kahit low pay. Yeah. 
I think so. Pero mas maganda na yung healthy at saka yung high pay, no? syempre. Unlike naman sa toxic na toxic. trabaho, malaki naman kinikita mo, pero hindi ka naman masaya. Wala. Hindi pa rin work. So, mas gusto mo pa rin yung okay yung magiging mental health mo? Oo oh, po. Mas prefer ko po yung mas kabubuti sa mental health ko. So, I think, ano, mental health over everything. So, I would do the low-paying company as well. Also, if it's my first job as well, I would still go for the low-paying company. Sabi no, narinig nyo yun, iba-iba yung mga sagot nila. Kaya ganun ang mga sagot nila, dahil yun sa mga experiences nila, kaya talagang may mga pinanggagalingan yung mga sagot nila. Well, practicality-wise, mas okay na mag-spend ka ng time on a toxic environment, pero okay naman yung pay, mataas yung sahod mo, since compensated ka, di ba, kahit tinotoxic ka nila, pinapahirapan ka nila, eh well compensated ka naman, besides you're really there to work, to perform, and to get paid ng maayos na sahod, di ba? Pero meron tayong mga respondents, especially yung mga naka-experience na according to them ng toxic workplace na mataas na sahod. So, merong mga respondents na nagsabi na priority daw nila ang mental health pa rin sa isang workplace rather than the pay. Depende talaga yan eh. Kung anong priorities mo, anong mga needs mo, and at the end of the day, whatever floats your boat, if you're a person who is in for grabbing challenges, okay sa you yung toxic ang workplace, as long as compensated ka, if you have all the energy for it, the patience for it, go ahead, basta kaya mo. Pero kung medyo madali kang mag-snap, alam mong magbe-breakdown ka, medyo mahina ang mental strength mo, okay lang din naman. Wala namang makakapag-judge sa'yo kung mas gusto mo yung less na toxic or healthy ang environment at medyo mababa ang pay. ba diba? Sabi nga nila, different strokes for different folks. Eh pero kung kayo po ang tatanungin, saan po kayo? Mas gusto nyo ba yung toxic work environment pero napakataas ng sweldo ninyo, well compensated kayo? Or magiging happy na kaya kayo dun sa hindi toxic ang workplace nyo, healthy ang environment pero mababa naman ang sahod nyo? Ano pong sagot nyo? Okay, thank you po sa lahat ng mga nakausap ko at uh, sumagot sa mga tanong ko. Thank you for taking the time to answer my question. My name is Chloe. I'll see you again next time on the street. What about you? What would you pick? Um, I'm nervous right now. We might sing the album. As long there, as there is a pay, it doesn't matter if it's toxic or not. Because, as you've said, we all have different, um, what was that again? Circumstances. <laughs>